All right, thanks for watching. And today we'll solve a very exciting third grade math competition problem. And the important thing to understand is not, are you smarter than a third grader, but rather, can you use this problem with only third grade techniques? In particular, we will not be able to use any equations because we don't know what those are. And so the question is, suppose you have a farm with chicken and rabbits. Suppose the total number of heads is 60 and the total number of legs is 170. If the number of rabbits is a two-digit number AB, find A plus B. And we assume in this problem that chicken have two legs and rabbits have four legs. I will show you later why I had so much trouble doing this problem. So here's how you can approach this. Suppose in the worst case scenario, there are only chickens. So you have a farm with only chickens, again, two-legged animals. Then what would happen? You would have 60 heads, but how many legs? Well, each chicken has two legs, so 120 legs. But now the question is, so first of all, of course, uh, not 170, so we definitely eat some rabbits. What happens if you replace one chicken with a rabbit? Then, well, the number of heads didn't change, but you're adding two legs. So now are there 122 legs. And the question is now, well, how many replacements would you have to do? So how many uh, chicken would you have to swap for rabbits in order to get 170 legs? Well, notice in particular what you have to do. You have to add 50 feet But again, remember, for every rabbit, you gain two feet. So really, to gain 50 feet, you need to add 25 rabbits. And so, of course, the answer is, uh, so AB in this case, so the answer AB is 25, and therefore A plus B is just two plus five, which is seven. And so the answer to this problem is seven. And again, you usually only have two minutes to do that. Uh, so that's good. Let me now show you why this is so controversial. So this is my bunny Oreo. She has two feet and two hands. I don't understand why you say bunnies have four legs. That doesn't make any sense. And however, if you assume uh, bunnies have two legs and chickens have two legs, then this problem is impossible. That's why I, <laughs> I had so much trouble doing this problem. And I even gave a YouTube survey and uh, only 30% of people agreed with me. But, so very interesting problem. And again, what's nice about this, it's really, um, kind of changes the way you think about problem solving in some sense. All right, if you like this and you want to see more math, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.